You're right, Dewey. I can't tell you how much better I feel. Told you. It's really freeing. Especially knowing he still wants the other brother. Malcolm, you gotta go out there. It's time. He wants you. No. By October, I'll be strong enough to beat him. Come on, Malcolm. There's school tomorrow. You can pretend to be sick for a few days, but sooner or later, Mom gets involved. Then what? I'll think of something. Thinking won't do it, Malcolm. This is not a smart thing. It's a life thing. Randy is like an earthquake. It's just something that's gonna happen. Seriously, Malcolm. The longer you try to put this off, the worse it's gonna be. I could tell he was holding back. He's got a lot farther he could go. This is nothing. No, I'm not giving up. I don't give up. I'm not a quitter. If I have a problem, I think and work and keep working on it until I solve it. Okay. Name one time that's ever worked out for you. Well... Did it work five years ago when your hamster died and you spent so many hours giving it CPR that the doctors had to put a shunt in your mouth to help the sores drain? Did it work with that girl you kept hounding because you thought she was so close to liking you until she finally maced you? No, but I could... I could... Malcolm, think about it. You're right. I really have to go out there. I appreciate you guys looking out for me. We didn't think you'd be so easy to convince. No, not him. Where's the red-haired brother? There is no red-haired brother. This is it. Shoot! I have the wrong house. Where's that house with the ass bag who works with handicapped kids? Oh! That's Eddie Jeffers! He lives in Comstock! Ugh. You guys got pounded and I got off scot-free! Ha! Now whose philosophy looks stupid? You thought I couldn't come up with... Guys! Wait! What if we do this tomorrow? You'll be rested! Take some time first! 